Okay, we got here a HP ProBook 400 G7 SFF Factor. So let's open it up, have a look, and turn it on. Standard HP Slim Keyboard. Ooh, actually, it smells horrible. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, smell is. Ugh. Okay, it smells very bad. It smells like rat infested from the fetch me. Okay. So it's not sealed, the normal normal is sealed. This one is not. Okay, so these are the new models. They got that new beautiful sleek interface. Not a shiny silver anymore. Looks like that's a DVD drive in there. Four USBs, headphone, microphone jack, power button. Nothing here. I'm assuming maybe a card reader in the future. That's a Core i3. Mm, no Type C on this model, just HDMI, HDMI, HDMI. That's great. They keep using display ports, very annoying. HDMI is standard, fantastic. We can use um, display to VGA, we need VGA. Network, five USBs, okay, and a headphone microphone jack. Pretty much simple. Okay, let's have a look inside. Okay. Alright, what have we got? Oh, I see, okay. So I guess the DVD maybe has to come out first. Okay. So the DVD drive comes out with this complete big massive cover. And then the front face comes out. Okay, so push the two buttons. Okay, so there is no any any um, heat, like any thermal or any cooling on this. Um, Samsung 8GB DDR4 3200, so it's a nice high speed one. That is a NVMe Intel Optane memory SSD. So it's got 16 gig plus the 256 together in one. All right, and it probably can fit in a three and a half or two and a half inch SSD adapter there. Pretty much basic, and it got two. One PCI Express and one PCI. Very clean, very simple setup. There's actually another slot for another RAM memory for a different model. Okay. And there is a Wi Fi module there as well. But, um, you can use one from a laptop maybe. And additional two more SATA. Okay. Well, would you have two more SATA? No idea. Okay, that's about it, I think. And standard the power supply is a. Who is it from? AC Bell Polytech.
80 plus gold. Wow. Okay. Let's see if it will explode in our hands and then plug it in. What we'll do is we'll have a look at the BIOS quickly. I think that's all we need. Let's go. So the power button is there. There we go. Okay. Keyboard is not working. So we're going to go into the BIOS now. Okay, here we go. ProDesk 400 G7 SFF, i3 10th generation, 8 gig, born on date unknown. Cool. Alright, um, that's about it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.